how cold it is today. I'll go tap into my Pepsi Max, it's frozen. I can't believe it. Well, I'll not be drinking that, it's frozen solid. Oh, it's, a cold, it's a cold one today, so get the heated seats on quick. Right. You look like Penelope Pitstop. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're at the House of the Bins. You know, house of Bins, not of the no, Bins. No, it's called House of Bins. Do you know why? Yeah. Do you know why it's called the House of Bins? Uh -huh. This is where they invented the weedy bin. No, it's not. Might be. No. <laughs> right. Because it's spelled B-I-N-N-S. But do you know why though? Why would it? Why would it be called Bin? No idea, tell me. Apparently, it gets its name but from Ben, which is Gaelic for oh, yeah, a yeah, hill. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right, for the hills. That's but then why is it not called that... House of Bens? Because it is quite high up, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Over where we are. So this is West Lothian. Uh -huh. Look, overlooking the Firth of Forth. Mm -hmm. And to the south, and the, the views Pentons. are meant to be amazing, so... Mm -hmm. And they get this. Two things I really like. What? Free parking and free entry. Right, okay. <laughs> it's got to be free. Otherwise, I'm going to... It doesn't I'm, bother me anyway, but... You, you, know, shouldn't, have to, you shouldn't have to pay to learn about history. That's, that's the only reason I harp on about it. So, we're going to have a look around, but we're going to trek around. We're not going to muck around in the house looking at paintings. We're going to trek around and see... Don't know, can you get into the house? Not this time of year anyway, so... But you can get into the house to have a look around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what's the history behind the house? Because I, I it's haven't too looked at It's too lengthy, actually. The history's so lengthy, you're better off looking it up. It really is that, that convoluted and so there and isn't long. a Some long short of it? No. Here's the short Here's the short one. Way back, the Picts probably lived here. And I use the word probably because that's not proved. Okay? Right. Up until... January 2017 when the guy who owned it died unfortunately so that, that's year. the quick version the the lengthy version is very convoluted and lengthy so I'm not going to go into it now because it'll be like reading a choir sheet of and then this person turned up and then this family and then this bloke went to war and then he came back and then he fell off a horse and it gets ridiculous right so we can move find a shortened version of it if we possibly can if not I, then we'll... I'll put it up here it'll be like some credits going <laughs> <laughs> Far too fast because it's ridiculous. It gets lengthy. Yeah. Okay. But ne anyway, it looks a nice place, so we should get out. And, and the sun's room. out. Yeah, it's out, but it is been minus seven today. Mm -hmm. So minus <sighs> minus seven. So that's nice. So for toasties. To now I was checking the views mm -hmm. on this channel, and some of the people are from Mexico. Really. Mm -hmm. So to all the people in Mexico, we've Mexico. got the, we, we've got this stuff called ice. <laughs> it's really annoying and it turns up at, in minus seven like this. So, <laughs> on someone was from uh, Dubai. Oh, yeah. And Saudi Comes Arabia. I've been there a few so times. Hello, Saudi so... Arabia. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice yeah. place. Right. Good fun. Very nice, yes. Too hot, too hot. Yeah. Even the sea's hot when you try and oh. go into the sea to cool down. You, you but then an egg I would love that today, that's for sure, if I was to do oh. a swap. <laughs> But it certainly looks winter wonderlandish today. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's lovely and Christmassy. Our tree's gone up today as well. So yeah. it's just adding to the Christmassy feeling. Very um, nice. So it's lovely. And we've not seen a lot of wildlife. If they've got any sense, they will be wrapped up in their little nests or burrows or anything like that, mm -hmm. looking after themselves with their wee nuts. Aye, protecting their nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Right, we're off. We're off. Okay, speak to you soon. Bye Goodbye. bye.
how the sun's got rid of half of the frost. Interesting. Excellent views here. And that down there is Blackness Castle. Right, we've made it to the ultimate sun trap. Are you enjoying it? Are you getting a suntan? <laughs> I've got two pairs of gloves on it's and I haven't even put them in the finger bits because the tips in them are freezing. Yeah, I'm, I'm toughing it out, aren't I? Oh, it's a cold one today. It is cold, but the view up here is fantastic. Yeah. So I'll, give them a, I'll give them a quick 360. You've got everything, everything going on. There's the tower. So very little wind, but extremely cold. Minus, I think it was minus seven. It's now, it's only minus five now, so I shouldn't be complaining really. 
<laughs> but that sun is lovely and hot, but it's not hot enough. No, because there's still lots of ice and frost. But we'll have a trick. Oh, that little circular bit down there. Ah, we'll have a little trick about there. Look at these mole hills. And they're all frozen solid watch. Look, poor things moving. <laughs> I've just seen a hare run, run up there, but they're very fast, so I wasn't able to get a picture. Now what's that building over there? Hmm. Anyway, we're gonna investigate this mound. Because when it comes to archaeology, always head for the mound. In for a penny, in for a mound. Jobs are good. Let's see what we're gonna find. What the hell's that? Is that an ancient barbecue? The Neolithic burgers? Probably not. Well, this mound doesn't look like it's coming to much, but I'll have a look. It's too built up. That looks like it's rubble. 
or someone's built or done something, it's probably something to do with that. They've just dumped all this rubbish. Or well, a spoil heap, as you're supposed to call them. Let's have a look. Actually, look at this bowl. Look. What did that used to be? Not a lot up here. It's high up, but not a lot here. There's a pheasant. Same, running off. Hello, Mr. Pheasant. Two of them. Have you discovered an ancient portaloo? I like the sign, keep out. Why? What's in it? Oh dear, the remains of a toilet. <laughs> nice. Well, not a lot here. It's an old church, isn't it? Right, before I open this, no smoking, okay? Are you smoking? No, Good. just my right. breath looks like it is. Aye. Cool. Right, smoking. Let's have a look in here. What we got? Not an awful lot. What do you think it is? You look like a burglar.
Right, well, I enjoyed that, but I'll, I'll use your own quote. What was as, that? As we're getting back to the car. This is like a horror movie. <laughs> it's just... Is that your most... So, none out of ten? <laughs> I, you know, I can't even speak. Explain your suffering. So I people think know. my lips are actually blue. Right, so if you're watching this, you're probably thinking, eh, it can't be that cold. Oh, eh? it is freezing. Right, here's the thing. <laughs> it's been minus seven. Oh. So you explain, your nose is running it profusely. Yeah, my nose is. Sorry, that's... I've got a drip, constant drip on the end of my nose. because My I'm nose is a bit right. But, so... I, but, but My feet are cold. I'm sounding like I'm moaning again. But anyway, no, it's just very, very cold. I can't take my hands out. My sleeves here, they're freezing. Uh -huh. and yet, I can't speak. Just and, you carry on. I'm okay. too cold. And yet, I, conversely, I was able to not wear gloves. So how's... Because you're an alien. <laughs> I'm an alien, You're aye. from another planet or something. Right, so I'm going to explain what I saw. So I'm just reliving this horror and horror terror of the freezing mm -hmm. death by frost. Well, you did very oh. well. You did very well. So, we got here and immediately we saw Robin, so that's quite interesting. Yeah, so, so the wildlife some, here is good, isn't we it? We had some bread through mm -hmm. to the wee, the wee Robins on the way. And then we looked at the house, which you can't get in this time of year, mm -hmm. which is fine. And then and we then walked the up, up the hill to the tower. Lovely. Now that tower, believe it or not, even though it's lovely, it was just a folly. In okay. Other, in other words, it didn't really have a specific purpose. So Can you get, actually get in it though? There was a door. Not that I'm aware of. There's a door that you can get in. Is it not a fake mock door? Oh, the, is it? It may be. I could be completely wrong. It looked like an architect had just put it like a fake in. Your back steaming. <laughs> now you see the steam coming off. Actually, can look. Mm -hmm. Get close to the camera. See it? Mm -hmm. I'll waft the air up. Now you see it? Yeah. So That's I'm I'm steaming hot. That's how cold it is. In fact, there you can see it coming off my arm, look, see? Mm -hmm. That's how warm it is. <laughs> That's so warm, I'm poached. Anyway, so I had a look at this folly, really enjoyed it. Lovely views to the north and the east, loved that. Very cold though, then we walked down. We couldn't get in the walled garden because that was shut. And then you were attacked by a man with dogs. No, I didn't get attacked, I just saw, what's that? That's a hawk. Oh, yes, it was. It was a hawk. A oh. hawk's just hovered through the car park there. So I feel <laughs> that was beautiful. Lovely. I saw an even larger bird of prey before. I tell I... you, the wild, wildlife up here is brilliant that you mm. see. So, no, I've really enjoyed the, the, the walk today. I thought it was fantastic. I'm just um, cold feet. There's nothing cold. worse when you're doing a walk and you've got cold feet. And you can still see like the that. steam coming off my shoulder. I know. <laughs> like kettle going. Um, I tell you, if you do come here just now and it's cold, because you're quite high up, Spare peri socks, balaclava, waterproof shoes, a hot water bottle. Don't wear trainers like I've worn because you're walking in this frost here uh, on the, the the grass, and it's just getting your trainers wet. So mm -hmm. um, I'm heating up now, which is great. But all I'm craving now is a hot tea or soup. Well, as we were discussing, you you invented the concept of trek and treat. Treat. So, trek and treat. So get out and do a bit of goblin. Trails, trails and treats. Get out and do a bit of goblin. Trails and treats. Trails and treats. So, trek and treats. So trek you, we've done the trek, so trek now you have yeah, so now you have yep. the treat. So you're going to treat me to a trail and treat. Ah, I'm going to treat you to a bag of monster munch. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll get you. I'll get you something nice. <laughs> Aye, so right, let's, come on, soup, let's let's. Nice wholesome soup. Aye, let's get straight to the point here because yeah. I'm 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 boiling up. <laughs> Marks well, out of ten. Yeah, um, okay, eight. Quite happy with an eight. Um, wow, even though you, it was like a horror yeah, film. Yeah, I'm, I'm cold, but what do you expect? It's a lovely, wintry-looking day. No, I love it, but I just next time I'll be more prepared. So that's my fault for not right, being so, as prepared. So you, I'm, so I'm very surprised you're giving it an eight. For how peace, lovely and tranquil it is. Because I'm only going to give it lovely, a seven. And I tell you what, in the summertime... I'm definitely going to nip out here for a picnic and Aye. I'm going to do a run round. I will we'll do a run round here. Do a run round here as well. Not Co today because it's maybe a bit too icy, mm -hmm. but. A couple of miles, no problem round here. And it's open to the public, you mm -hmm. can walk around the grounds. It all year. I'm only going to give it a 7 out of 10. Okay. Because I didn't think it, was a, it wasn't that amazing. No, I like I like the views I think, I think and I like the fat it's free and I like the fact we've seen all that different wildlife. 
condensed into one area. But the trails are a bit hard to follow because we saw a family and they just wandered off somewhere. Mm -hmm. Well, the trails are 1 to 11 and I didn't find them that bad. Mm -hmm. You know, they're quite clearly marked. Just, you know, use your initiative and you'll get there. But, right. no, I was happy enough. I'm, I'm really happy with, with here. But as I say, we'll see how it goes in the uh, summertime when we come back, maybe for a little picnic. But mm -hmm. there's not, there's only a couple of cars now parked here. But I'm not surprised because it is so cold today. I'm surprised anything's still living. The uh -huh. birds, it's a, that's incredible how they have coped with this weather. Oh, we've seen a hare. Yes. Pheasants. Peacock, I saw. Peacock. Uh, lots of little robins. Hawk. Beautiful. Um, the hawk just um, flying by the mm -hmm. car there just now. And I saw a bigger bird of prey, but it was so far away, but it had a huge wingspan. And when it moved, all the other birds went, whoo, yeah. they were away. So a nice place to go. Even just, if you just come for the views, it's lovely. Mm -hmm. So there you go. It says on that sign, please do not disturb or feed the peacocks. Yeah, well, wherever they, they may be hiding because they're not out today. And I think that's a bit misleading. Disabled parking. Well, how are you going to get up that hill? That's unfair for wheelchair users. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's a serious note there. That's maybe they just come to see the house. But anyway, never mind. Uh, so we are blabbering on again. Uh, and we've got so a hot eight out of ten, seven out of ten. You want soup, do you? Yep. Soup de Like a homeless person. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we right, like to off. be homeless in this weather, that's ah, for sure. It's miraculous how they all disappear in the cold, isn't it? Anyway. Right. Bye bye. We're bye off. Bye bye. Take bye. Care, bye. bye.